In this video I'll show you how you can update the firmware on your Seagate SSD and this is actually valid for Samsung, Western Digital, any SSD you might have. First it's most important you go to the manufacturer website, in this case Seagate. For Seagate you download the C tools for Windows. This is a utility that will show you information about the drive. For other manufacturers you will have different tools, different utilities, each one have their own. And from now on I will show the example for Seagate because this is the drive I use here. This is a really nice PCIe 4 drive from Seagate with the sync, heat sink. And here I'm installing the C tools. Not much really interesting on this part. It's the most important important part is to find the link to download. And the link was at the beginning and I can put it in the video description also. You choose your language you prefer and it's really a matter of preference. Always have to accept the terms and conditions. Here, okay, here I have the view and this is my drive the Seagate it's a really nice NVMe PCIe 4 really fast very good speed and it's important to update the firmware on your SSDs on NVMe especially because sometimes they have issues and they are fixed with firmware updates and it can even cause wear on your SSD the SSD is wear faster in some situations you have a limited number of writes that you can do for each block for each sector in the detail view here you find the serial number of your device and on the seagate website you have the section for firmware downloads where you enter the serial number it's important and it's very good to have it like this because you will not download the wrong firmware that would be very bad if you download the correct firmware things will go right if it's the wrong firmware the worst thing would be that it works and it's really uh, making a problem with your drive and the best is that it fails and gives you an error i downloaded the fire cuda firmware update for nvme after downloading it, you have to extract it. It's a zip archive. You can really right click extract it to folder. Something like this. And it, it's nice that it has instructions about what this is for. So which, which drives it supports. And here this manual, this PDF document. I suggest you read it very carefully to check the model number of your SSD, your NVMe drive, with the model numbers listed in the document. It's very important that you get it right, this part. So here I can check in the C tools utility, I can see for the, for the Fire CUDA, that's the model number, NVMe. And here I'm trying to find it. Fire CUDA 530, 530 SE, best car SSD NVMe, that's the one I have. And this is the model. Yeah. It's, uh, it's one of these models. So it's, uh, it's included, it's supported in this firmware update. The reason why it's more important to do the firmware updates on SSDs is the wear on the blocks of the memory of the SSD have a limited write number and if there are too many writes too many times in one place it will wear out the drive. You see it matches it matches the model model and the firmware version it's newer on the new one so it's good to know before you do the firmware update 
which firmware version you had and you see there is the newer version that fire could have 530 su 66 s m005 dot bin that's the file that's the firmware file 005 it's the version i believe or some something like that a lot of instructions here read them carefully especially about power power outage better to do this when you don't have a power outage planned and back up your data before this for sure save anything you have open and you start the firmware the c tools is very user friendly actually it doesn't look very fresh like a really nice program but it's really easy to use they have also instructions for command line and all that stuff i mean they they need to have all the angles covered but really all we care about is the normal graphical user interface gui tool which doesn't look very fresh but it works i mean it does what we need it to do and this thing you don't really open it all the time since i did this uh, firmware update i didn't i didn't check it again maybe there is an update yeah these these things they should be done automatically i don't know if it's okay to do them automatically so i will copy the path of this folder where i have the firmware saved and i'm selecting the drive the fire cuda drive in advanced i can see it in advanced i thought i have two here selected i was a bit suspicious about it i didn't know exactly i wanted to make sure that i have only one drive selected and then firmware update you browse so yeah here you get a confirmation of which drive you selected it's important that it's the right one browse to the folder where you have the bin file the the one you downloaded earlier and it's a matter of really just pressing ok here it's, uh, it's not very slow or fast it's just doing it i mean it takes more than half a second here i was thinking that it's gonna do something more but no it was done that's that was it and now i can go to the details and check the firmware version and i see the new version of my c what seagate fire cuda 530 c se or something like that the new version is there of the firmware and looks good i also have a western digital nvme drive i checked that one also with the western digital tool that didn't have an update so yeah the firmware update is done now just for safety you can do a restart of your computer but it's not really needed but why not do a restart and you can use your computer as normal if you like to do firmware updates on your devices let me know on which ones you like to do most of the firmware updates and why you prefer to do more firmware updates on one device or another or on computer parts or any other devices that you might have and let me know if you updated or if you checked if there are any updates for your ssd nvme firmware drives and maybe do them thanks for watching